So speaking of, we're just three days away from Marathon Monday, right? And while the excitement is really high for the race, safety officials also on high alert. Understandably, they want to make sure everyone has a safe race day. So NBC 10's Alicia Palumbo live for us this morning at the finish line there on Boylston. Alicia, safety officials just spoke about what's in store for this year. So what did they say? Well, the final preparations are underway, not only for safety and security, but also for the race. We've got the finish line installed here on Boylston Street. The stands are up, ready for the spectators. And intelligence officials continue to work to identify any potential threats to safety on race day. There's just three days to go until the 128th running of the Boston Marathon. With 30,000 runners from 129 countries and all 50 states, there is a massive coordination to try to keep the race safe and secure. A marathon that runs through eight cities and towns requires complex and coordinated preparedness efforts. Each year, we build on the previous year's security operation. The plan to protect the event is rigorous and dynamic. There are multiple and redundant layers of security, some of which are visible and obvious, and many others that will not be noticed by the public. There will be security checkpoints at the start line and finish line. Items like backpacks, coolers, props, and costumes won't be allowed. There will be four additional miles of barricades along the route to keep spectators off the course, and dump trucks will be parked at intersections blocking direct access to the marathon course by vehicles. There is no intelligence, credible or otherwise, that would suggest that the MBTA or the marathon are targets. But regional intelligence directors say threats from domestic, international, and state-sponsored actors remain elevated, especially with the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. Since the start of the conflict, we have seen calls to action from foreign terrorist organizations to attack the United States. But our most immediate concern are homegrown violent extremists or lone actors who self-radicalize with little to no warning and look to attack soft targets. Now, these law enforcement officials reiterated over and over again, it's everyone's responsibility to keep this race course safe. They say they need you to be their eyes and ears along the marathon course. So they say if you see something suspicious, say something. We're live at the marathon finish line in Boston. Alicia Palumbo, NBC10 Boston.